if you can see the date up there, but it says May 13th, 2022. This is a TikTok advertising a book. I send it to my best friend and I say, make me accountable. I want to read this by July 1st. She goes, absolutely. How are you going to read it? And I said, actually, I own a copy. I got one back at Valentine's Day. I got it in February, 2022. Guess what? It's February, 2023, and I'm finally coming around to read it. I'm finally diving into the world of Allie Hazelwood. I'm gonna read The Love Hypothesis. I know, I'm way behind the times, but I'm so excited to read this, and because I took so long, I actually have the second one too, Love on the Brain. So this one is checked out from the library. When it came in like two weeks ago, I was like, you know what? This is my sign that it's time to finally read them, and I thought I would make a fun reading vlog. And then when this one came in, I decided to go ahead and get on hold for the novellas just to see if I could get any of them. And two of them actually came in yesterday. So I also have Stuck With You and Under One Roof on my Kindle. So we're going to read all four in this vlog. I was hoping the third one, I think it's called Below Zero, was going to come in. It doesn't look like it will, and that's totally fine. So... If you're not familiar with my vlogs, I read my Kindle every night before bed. I also read it in the pool a lot. So I will be reading these simultaneously. So I'll be reading The Love Hypothesis and one of the novellas, and then I'll read Love on the Brain and the other novella. But we'll go through all four in this reading vlog. It will be spoiler free. I'm so excited to finally dive in. Two updates for you. First, I finished Under One Roof last night, but my camera died. I really liked it. So I will say when it first opened up, I was a little lost because it kind of opens up in somewhat of an intimate scene. And I was like, wait, I'm, I have no idea what's going on. But then I really liked the way it was structured because as soon as you jump into the story, it's like four months, three weeks ago. And then it's like four months, two weeks ago. So it takes you back and then slowly moves you forward back to that intimacy scene that you opened up on. And I love the way that the story developed. Basically, in the story, you've got two people. Her advisor left her her house in DC. And she didn't realize that her advisor only owned half the house. Advisor's brother owned the other half and his son is in the house and so now they're living together get it under one roof and they go from being like complete enemies to <laughs> not and i just really liked the storyline a lot the one thing that irritated me i've seen this before so it's talking about a blizzard in dc which just doesn't happen very often but then they also mention the nationals which is our baseball team there's no way the nationals would be playing and there'd be a blizzard it just wouldn't happen so that was like oh took me out of the story a little bit, but overall, it was really good. This morning, I finished The Love Hypothesis. I love this book. I probably will reread it and annotate it at some point because I do own this copy. I totally see why people are into Adam, and what I love about this book is it doesn't have the traditional third act breakup. It actually is a much more complex problem, and I know the complex problems are harder for authors to write, which is why I appreciate them so much when I see them. So in this book, you know, it's fake dating in a university. I kind of was like, oh, they're not going to be able to make it work. And then they're going to come back together and make it work. No, no, no. They go to a conference in Boston and Olive gets really mistreated as a woman in STEM, which is a real problem for women in STEM and for a lot of women <laughs> in a lot of careers. She's really devalued as a woman. And what you see is how Adam responds to that, how her friends respond to that, how other people at the conference respond to that. And I thought it was such a smart way to bring attention to the fact that it is really hard to be a woman going into these careers while also keeping this romantic storyline at the forefront. I just thought it was beautifully done. Absolutely loved it. I do wish there had been like 
an extended epilogue. There was an epilogue that was like six months later. I'm like, well, maybe there's a bonus chapter. I should check. I'm like, can I see them like three years in the future? Because it was so good. Now, I'm a little nervous to start Love on the Brain because Alexa Ray watched, uh, did a YouTube vlog that I recently watched where she didn't love it. I'll link that vlog down below. And then my friend Autumn also said it wasn't as good as Love on the, or as the Love Hypothesis. So now I'm nervous, but I'm going to start it tonight. I'm actually heading to a funeral now. There's a reason why I'm telling you guys that. I have something that I'm going to show you, probably in the next clip for you guys. Tomorrow, I'm going to introduce you to something that is exciting. But for now, I'm going to get on the road, start Love on the Brain tonight, and I'll give you guys an update at some point. So this is very different. First, I'm in a different location. This is my husband's office. Um, I don't really consider putting a flag on the wall decor, but that's what he did in here when we first moved in. And the reason why I'm in here is because of her. So I mentioned yesterday that we went to a funeral for my great aunt. She was in her late 80s, was sick. So it wasn't a surprise that she was passing, but she left behind Hobo. Hobo didn't have a home, so we decided to bring Hobo to our home. Now, interesting thing is I'm allergic to Hobo, which is so sad because she's so cute. And I know you're thinking, then why are you in here with her? Because I can't have a living, breathing, nuzzly thing living in my house and not spend time with them. So I try and come in and see her a couple times a day. And then I immediately, like, take my the clothes I was wearing off, wash my face and my hands. Um, so that's what we're doing in here. This is my evening snuggle session with her. So I am going to read a little bit more of Love on the Brain, drink my margarita, and get a little time in. I'm really happy we were able to give her a home. She's senior, she's 14 years old, so I don't know how much longer she has with us, uh, but I'm glad that we were able to give her a home, even though I am a dog person. Uh, Buster has my heart, but we're making a little, sp a little space for Hobo too. I'm about 50% of the way through this book and it was kind of dragging in the beginning. I do think it's because I loved the first one so much to immediately follow it up with this one. It was going to be hard for it to live up to the same feeling, but I kept pushing through it and I am liking it a lot more. I really like the whole storyline between uh, like how NASA and NIH are not getting along on this project just because again that's one thing I'm really liking in these books is it, there's a lot of realistic elements with STEM and just like how it works in the world and so I can absolutely see that happening and once I realized that Levi really was trying to fight for her project I got really invested into a storyline I like the whole like Twitter identity storyline as well so as you guys know, I work part-time with children with special needs. I have a team that I oversee. I'm going to one of my kids' houses today to meet his therapist at 4 o'clock. Um, it is 4.45 in the morning, so I'm going in about 11 and a half hours. This is way overdue. Best case scenario, I can finish this book and drop it off at the library, which is right by the client's house, on my way. I do have to take Hobo, the cat, to a vet appointment today. I don't have anything else going on. So I'm going to read this for like an hour right now and see how far I can get.
You guys have probably heard me talk about Fit Teacher Rachel before. She's the person that got me into Spicy Romance. She does some custom covers of her favorite books with authors with these really cool collaborations. And every now and then, she does a book box. I've only done one other one. That's where I got this shirt. I love it. It's Well Read Women. And I got like a drink thermos and some other cool stuff. So I thought we could unbox this one together and see what I got this time. So first, Get Lost is like her logo. So she has this really pretty tape on the outside that says Get Lost. And I'm going to be filming a TikTok at the same time unboxing it. All right, so the book in this one is the Royal Elite Trilogy from Rena Kent. So it's really cool that we have all three books in here. It is so beautiful. It's thick, but because we have the entire trilogy, I think we should do a reading vlog working through this. When I'll get that in, I don't know, but I'm super excited. It's got Deviant King, Steel Princess, and Twisted Kingdom in there. So it's the Rena Kent and Fifty to Rachel exclusive edition. So let's see what other goodies I got. So next thing in the box was from Lila Junko, which is a small brand that Rachel loves. She does these tarot cards, so we got a set of five. So the first one is Rachel Recommend, and this is like Rachel's like standard look. So I love that we have that on there. Then we have one that says The Broken Boy. So I'm assuming this book has a broken boy in it. One that said 15 out of 10 would recommend, which is how Rachel rates her books. And so we've got... Um, a fake book by Tate James, I'm not sure which one. Lucia Franco, Twist, The Intern by Marnie Mann. Juniper Hill by Daphne Perry, The Frat Boy by Nikki Sloan. The Royal Elite Trilogy, which is this one. An American Queen by Sierra Simone, I believe. So that's kind of cool because we get a snapshot of some of Rachel's favorite books. And I don't think I've read any of them. So maybe this could be like a mini TBR for me. Then The Black Hearts Club and Hand Necklaces plus a sticker that goes with the book. So... It matches the colors and print, so this will be fun to put on my book cart. And we got a bookmark that goes with the book, so that'll be really nice. I am team bookmark. I might hole punch this and put a tassel in it, because I've got a bunch of tassels upstairs. But that is so pretty that they go together. So just a recap, I got this beautiful hardcover edition trilogy, special edition cover, the bookmark to go with it, the sticker to go with it, the set of custom Rachel tarot cards, and this can cooler, which I'm gonna use in the hot tub this weekend. So, what a fun unboxing. I'm actually really glad that I finished this book. It just was dragging, but it picked up. And again, just like Love Hypothesis, the like conflict that happened was so realistic. Now I will say, and I was warned of this, it was a little bit of some immaturity. And I just personally, I have to remember that like not all of us marry our college boyfriend, but the whole like this would never work, they would never wanna love me, we are clearly in love right now, in a great relationship, but I'm going to not move forward because I just believe that no one could want me like that. It just comes off as so juvenile to me. Like she's in her late 20s and like he's doing everything and she's still like, I don't know. And that, that plot does irritate me a little bit but it was super cute and actually what's funny is cats are a big part of this book and as you guys learned in this vlog I now have a cat never would have had a cat only have this cat because my grand aunt passed away and the cat is staying with me for the remainder of her life which is probably like a year or so she's 16 years old um with a lot of health issues I took her to the vet today but we're getting on the right track and I am on the wrong track let's talk about the book but it's so funny because I'm actually picturing my cat while I'm reading this book and that's such a weird but cool experience but either way I can return this to the library on the way to visiting one of the kids I work with and then I will finish up the novella and we'll close out the vlog in the morning
I can't remember the last time I updated you guys, so I did finish Love on the Brain and Stuck With You. Now, here's my problem. First, I should have read Love Hypothesis on its own because it was so much better than the other, so trying to follow it up just didn't work. I also think part of the reason why I like Love Hypothesis is there is a slight immature quality to the female characters in these books, and in that first one, she's still in college, and so even though she's at a graduate level, I feel like college us is very different than adult us and so I could understand that but with the other ones they're like in jobs like a PhD NASA engineer and I'm like why is the immature quality still there so that took from it a little bit I still did like all of them I'm definitely interested in reading Below Zero which is that third novella and then she's got another book coming out this fall I believe so I hope you guys enjoyed reading the series with me and I hope you enjoyed meeting Hobo and we unboxed I've got it right here we unboxed that box I got from Fit Teacher Rachel I tried to include more fun stuff in the vlog this time so I hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one